Hey guys, so today I am going to be filming my June favorites video, and I have an unfavorite this month. So, I'm just gonna talk about my favorites that are over in this general facility. Um, my first, well, I'm gonna start with an unfavorite. It's the Not Your Mother's Smooth Moves Frizz Control Hair Cream. It's supposed to make your hair straight. And it says that you can put it in and let it air dry and it'll be straight. That is a lie. It makes your hair sticky. And I've tried it a few times. And it says, like, apply a small amount in your palms and then put it in your hair. It still doesn't work. I'm very disappointed in this because straightening your hair is a lot of work. <laughs> um, so, let's start with, I'll do, not start with, I'll do my favorites now. Uh, that was my only unfavorite. Uh, first is this Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, and I have been using this uh, pretty much every day this month. Um, I'm kind of tan, this is me tan, and it looks really nice um, with like a slight tan and good glows outside, and I really have been loving this this month. Um, this product is a rediscovery, it's the CoverGirl loose powder and this is in 115 and I love the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I haven't translucent but I feel like it pales out my face when I use it all over um, so I've been using this because it's the same color as my foundation and I've really been loving this and it doesn't look too cakey on my skin or anything so that's been really nice and I've been using it every day um, I have a bronzer favorite, and at first I did not like this bronzer, um, but this is the Jane bronzer in In Power, and it's very, very dark. Uh, it's 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 very dark, um, and I've been using it. I'm wearing it today, and I just love this stuff. It is so amazing, and it's a matte bronzer, and I contour the heck out of my face with this, and I love it and I use the I don't know where it is but it came with one of my benefit box blushes with the little narrow brush I just contour with that and it just works amazingly uh, next stick with face products I have this shimmer brick from Laura Mercier and this is in rose and I have been using this part as a highlighter and that as a blush and I use this highlighter every day. It is really shimmery but it's not like an overpowering shimmer and oh it's in Orchard not Rose um, but yeah I've been loving this and I haven't I ordered a Z palette to put stuff like this in but it hasn't come in yet. Uh, next is my roommate gave me this and it is color focus contrast eyeshadow and it's purple and I'm wearing this today as well I'm wearing everything that I'm talking about today and this is purple color and I've been putting this in my crease and I just been loving it I love it in my crease and then I just put some black eyeliner on like I tight line and I do my waterline with black eyeliner and I do it very thick and just put it my crease in my eyes look like this and I love this look even for summer even though it's kind of dark um, my on my lips I have been using the there's no label on it anymore so let me find it I believe it is Revlon uh, it's Revlon in the color Honey, but I don't know what it is. It is the Revlon Color Burst Balm Stain in the color Honey, and I'm sure I've talked about this before. This is probably my second or third tube of this, and this is all that I have left of it. Um, it's my favorite. It's very close to my natural lip color. Um, it's just a little more sparkly than my lips are naturally. Um, so I've been wearing this almost every day. I'm wearing 
that and this MAC lipstick in Cyber, which you can see I've used a lot of. Um, I've been wearing these every day this month, so it's my favorite lip products. And then I have a mascara favorite, and this is like a sample size, and it's the Chanel Mascara in Black, and this is amazing. This is what the brush looks like, and I usually use two or three mascaras and like lay them on but I have just been using this by itself and my eyelashes look amazing and super voluminous and it's just I love it and when I run out of that I'm buying a full size mascara uh, next I have a brush favorite and I bought these together they came in a little packet and these are the equal tools eyeshadow brushes and it's a shading brush a definer and then it doesn't say what the other ones are but I love this so much I use these every day I haven't used another eyeshadow brush since I bought these so I highly recommend these I love all Eco Tools brushes I think I have almost all of them so very much recommend them uh, next my perfume this month I've been loving the Taylor Swift perfume. You can't really see how much I've used, but I fill up my Traveler with this every time it runs out. I've been spraying this every day because it just smells so amazing. It smells, I think it smells like candy, uh, but every day I've been using this because I just think it's fantastic. And a non makeup -y favorite. I've been wearing this necklace a lot and it's like can be long too. Like it can go down pretty far. Or just make it like a shorter necklace. Um this is the only necklace I've been wearing. I don't really wear a lot of jewelry. So that is like a non makeup favorite. And then a book favorite, which I don't have right now for some reason. I guess it's in my book pile. But it is Speak by Lori Hall Sanderson. I read it back when I was younger, but I'm rereading it. And I really love that book. So that is my very short monthly favorites video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.